Now what I have here are ordinary nursery or garden center plants, but if you choose right, you can always find material that, that is very suitable for making into bonsai. This is a potentilla shrub, and this one is called red ace, which has orange red flowers. I chose it because it has a nice trunk. Potentilla as a shrub don't often produce nice trunk. They take very long uh, to produce a decent trunk. They usually have multiple trunks and the multiple trunks you can't do much with it because they don't look tree-like. But on the odd occasion that you can find plants that have a single trunk like this one, it is virtually ready-made bonsai. So what do I do with these? It is so nice, it's leaning in absolutely the right way. All I'm going to do is arrange the branches so that I get a nice conical shape. They will probably lose all the flowers. It flowered only a month ago, so pity I didn't do it when it was in flower, otherwise it would have been spectacular. But let's wire the branches to see what we get. So I'm literally wiring all the branches in pairs. Very often, bonsai is just about wiring and creating the shape, nothing more. But having the vision to see the end product is part of the success that comes with bonsai. You've got to visualize. And this tree leaning nicely, I'm not even going to change the angle of planting. This is what we call inspired nursery material. Because it's a flowering shrub, the beauty of this bonsai is going to be when it is in flower. When it is in flower, it will be absolutely spectacular. Those of you who remember my uh, third book called Create Your Own Bonsai from Everyday Garden Plants, I think the cover on one of the versions of that book is a potentilla, a yellow flowered potentilla. And the publishers of that book chose to use that for the cover because it was attractive. They didn't want these 100 and 200 year old trees as a cover. They could have easily chosen that. Mind you, publishers can do what they like with your book. But they chose this humble homemade portentilla for the cover. So I hope I've used the correct gauge of wire. This is one and a half millimeter wire. As you do more bonsai, you will soon realize what is the correct gauge of wire to use. There are no hard and fast rules, you just got to play it by ear. Because different species and different age of trees have different degrees of pliability. So there's no hard and fast rule that can guide you as to what gauge of wire to use.
There's a bit of a false branch there. No, this I don't need. This is dead, I think. I don't need this. So I shall keep wiring. So there is a front, this is the front. Nice that there are so many branches to choose from. I think the worst scenario is if you get a tree that doesn't have a lot of branches, then you'll be in trouble. What do you do with it? It's only the trunk. I don't want to do much more. I will just put it in a pot and you will soon see how nice this is. It's got a lovely root base. And trees like this which don't look very promising, you can always enhance it by putting the odd little stone or rock and make it like a landscape. And this is what the penjing is all about, the Chinese uh, style bonsai. Why is it so attractive? They're nothing trees, but they use beautiful little compositions which enhance the totality of the uh, piece of art that they're trying to create. Always remember that when you are making a piece of bonsai material, think of creating a picture. You're not just potting up a tree, you're creating a picture. If you remember that, you can't go wrong. That has always stood me in good stead. Create a picture. Still too much. Again, the pot is bigger than it needs to be. It's amazing how well they survive in much smaller volumes of soil. They're still a bit too proud. So just to show you that if you get that situation, don't despair because if you see a lot of root then you can cut a lot of it off without affecting the health of the tree. I've reduced the root ball quite considerably. Okay, we continue to plant it at an angle. Beautiful what they call nebari or root base. I'm not going to waste your time potting it up, but there you are. Once it comes into flower, this is going to be a beautiful tree. So that is making a potentilla bonsai. I've got other little interesting things. Come here and I'll show you. There's another potentilla here. Look at that beautiful trunk there. This is going to make a beautiful bonsai. Now what have I got here? These are berberus with the orange flowers. Let me show you what you can do with these. So. Let's take it out of the pot first. And whenever I take them out of the pot, I think there's a little robin lurking around. 
They're always looking for little earthworms that come out of the pot. This is our permanent little friend. Hello. So, where you get trees or shrubs with interesting trunks, simply revealing the trunk will create the image of the tree. So, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Nothing sophisticated. I'm just going to reveal the trunk as much as possible. These little branches are broken off. They've got roots there. I planted it. Nothing wasted. I'll get another little tree so I don't waste anything. So, so what I'm going to do is simply prune it in a conical shape. Maybe one piece of wire will do the trick. So it's just about revealing the trunk. I think if I open that out a little bit, open this out a little bit, I will use, just use, just for the sake of completeness, I will use two pieces of wire. opening it out. I think just doing that has done the trick. Maybe open out a little more. Another one. I think that little robin will learn quite a lot about bonsai because he's watching me all the time. So I gave the robin some pruning scissors. He'll be able to make a tree. Then what will we do with it? Let's put it in a little pot. And how easy is that? The roots are almost like box roots. Box trees behave in the same way. They have this very congested growth. But if you just bother to separate the branches like so, what I've done here, I dare say these shrubs are quite old because the trunks are really thick and old. For those of you who are keen gardeners, did you know that, that the Nandina, or the sacred bamboo, is part of the Berberus family? They can also be used for bonsai. There you go. That didn't take any time. So ordinary shrubs like this can be used for bonsai. 